what is a likely voter for your preferred candidate. So, for example, if you're on the right, maybe someone who has a hunting license, they own firearms, um, and they're a white male in their mid-40s, but they haven't voted in quite some time. Uh, that, mm. that's, some, that's somebody who fits the profile who is likely going to be you know, a Donald Trump voter or a likely Trump voter. In the 30-day period before actually Election Day, since you have these states that have nearly universal mail-in balloting like we have here in Arizona, you try to find that low propensity voter. So Earl, who's a plumber, and we know he has a hunting license, and we know that he owns firearms, and you knock on the door, and you try to persuade or convince Earl to fill out that ballot and chase that ballot and get that into the mail. Now, you can't touch the ballot. You can't assume custody. You can't fill it out mm -hmm. for him, but you can persuade him. You could build a relationship. The Democrats have have done this. They've deployed thousands of full-time ballot chasers, and they've done it on the inverse. 